And also in the news, the South South Governors Forum have declared support for the forensic audit of the Niger Delta Development Commission NDTC, ordered by President Muhammadu Buhari. The governors also expressed concern over the crisis rocking the NDDC. Chairman of the South South Governors Forum and Delta State Governor Senator Ifayo Kowa in a statement said they are convinced and expecting that the audit would serve to put the NDDC on a sound corporate governance footing and reposition it to do better and deliver on its mandate. The governors also declared their support for the ongoing investigation of the commission by the Senate, adding that the upper chamber is operating within its oversight functions through the ad hoc committee set up for that purpose. The South South Governors also condemned the attempted arrest of Joy Nunye, saying it was unwarranted, unnecessary, and uncalled for. And joining us live is Leonard Ibute, a public affairs analyst. Thank you very much for being a part of our program. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. So, what is your reaction to Professor Pondé's, of course, you know, actions, you know, walking out on lawmakers over the allegation that the committee is biased? Uh, well, um, it's it's for me coming from a, a professor. It's um, it's preposterous. It's, um, it's 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 unexpected and definitely it's unacceptable because um, the body that he serves is a creation of law, uh, a law that was duly passed by the National Assembly, and so he cannot pick and choose what kinds of people he needs to be on the committee for him to be a participant in the process. So having preempted the process as he has done is even an indication of um, maybe some form of guilt because if at the beginning of an inquiry you are already um, strongly accusing the the the, the, uh, the body set up to 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 do an investigation of of, of being biased on the one and working out of them so that you probably have something to hide or it indicates there's I mean it, there's a strong suspicion of that and coming from a professor um, you know it shows indeed that this country um, are educated elites then uh, are, are basically educated towns. I mean, that's the kind of behavior you would expect from a career politician who grew uh, his political career on the back of thumbry. But when it's coming from a professor as well, it then goes to re-emphasize what we have always said, that we are products of a work society. And so it doesn't matter your education or learning, Strong the barbarity yeah. with which this country has been run. Yeah. Seem let's, to let's, override let's also still on still on the same um, you know uh, discussion. Thing. Could the walking out by the NDDC boss and of course the also issues with uh, Joy Nunez versus Akpabio, could it be diversionary as some people have alleged, or is it a manifestation of bottled up emotions? I, I, I don't think the two things are related actually, my my opinion. Um, it is the body that is under investigation. So we must separate the culpability of the individual actors uh, in that process. So there's the Jainune versus Akbabio saga, and there is um, Konde saga. So maybe the central figure in both is Akbabio, who seems to be the godfather of this process. And so uh, maybe there's a connection there, but from a pure, from the standpoint of the legislators, they shouldn't be distracted if it is a plot. Uh, if they are going to be culpable, they'll be culpable individually anyway. So I do not see how that diversionary practice, if that it is, can bear the kind of fruit that the propagators okay. may have um, planned. And um, lastly, you know, what is your take on the president ordering speedy coordinated probe by security and other investigating agencies? So how, do, how do you expect this will turn out? I mean, for God's sake, the LDBC has got four trillion naira in 20 years. So if the pre and if the president is just realizing that that institution is is fantastically corrupt, then disappointment. I mean, uh, we have been disappointed in the president's ability to coordinate any kind of anti-corruption fight, but 
So then this that reaction of, okay, go and investigate this in an organization that spends four trillion naira in the same Niger Delta that we can see is as undeveloped as the day Obasanjo enacted the NDDC law, passed the NDDC, I mean, signed of the NDDC law, is, is, is nonsense, quite frankly. Um, it, for me, it's plain to the gallery, and I think it's too old for this kind of gimmick. We have always known how corrupt the organization is. If he doesn't know, then it, this is very, very uh, unimaginable to just be of ignorance on this part. Leonard Abuti, thank you very much for your thoughts. Thank you for joining us. We will speak with you again.